great pleasure that I congratulate the class of 2020. After a first hand seeing the horrors of war, my father had a vision of educating and training our best and brightest students the art of peacemaking. He always thought, well, you know, we have military academies. Why shouldn't we have peace institutes? He would have been proud to see the caliber of students graduating from this institute bearing his name. Now, your calling as peacemakers will be different than my father's. While he and his generation focused on the absence of war or negative peace, your generation now faces the challenges of advocating for social justice or positive peace, eliminating the root causes of war, violence, and injustice. And to make things more difficult, you got to do this during a pandemic. As President Kennedy stated almost 60 years ago, what kind of peace do we seek? Not a Pax Americana enforced on the world by American weapons of war. Not the peace of the grave or the security of the slave. I'm talking about a genuine peace, the kind of peace that makes life on earth worth living. The kind that enables men and nations to grow and to hope and to build a better life for their children. Not merely peace, for Americans, but peace for all men and women. Not merely peace in our time, but peace for all time. Mahalo and aloha. My name is Brian Hallett, and I'm the interim director of the Matsunaga Institute for Peace. On behalf of all of us here at the Institute, I would like to welcome you to our virtual celebration and to congratulate all of our graduates on their success. I also hope that you are sheltering in place and staying safe. Usually at these annual celebrations, we do not keep social distancing. Rather, we hug, we give lay, we nibble on carrots and cookies, and we drink punch. This spring, however, is of course very different. But we still wanted to celebrate all of your accomplishments and to send you off on your future endeavors with great joy and our very best wishes. As peace scholars and conflict resolvers, you are graduating into a new world facing ever greater need for the peacemaking and conflict resolving knowledge and skills that you have acquired over the past semesters. Never more has the world had a need for you and your skills to overcome the present crisis and move forward to a better world, a better world of justice and peace. So all of us here at the Institute for Peace and all the graduates who came before you, celebrate your hard work, congratulate you on your successes, and wish all the best for you in your future endeavors. Thank you very much and stay well. My name is Vendra Lindahl. I'm from Stockholm, Sweden, and I have a dual degree in psychology and peace and conflict resolution. My fondest memory at the Matsunaga Institute for Peace would be meeting all the amazing professors I had the chance to learn from. And my favorite class was my negotiation course. We had a lot of very interesting projects. And I am forever grateful to have received my education with the Matsunaga Institute for Peace. Mahalo. Aloha. Congratulations to everyone. I am so proud of all the hard work and the perseverance that you have put into accomplishments, especially during these trying and challenging times. Now, as you go out into the world, there's one thing I'd like you to remember. And that is how wonderful you really are. Of the 7.8 billion people in this world, there is no one like you. You bring a unique element to the world. And so you have something to offer the world. And so please re realize the uniqueness 
and the gifts and talents that you're bringing into to our world. So I thank you for all that you are doing and that you will be doing into this world. So best wishes to you and aloha. I'm Raj Kumar, president of Gandhi International Institute for Peace. I want to take this opportunity to thank all undergraduate students of Masunaga Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution for their tireless efforts and commitment in promoting peace and nonviolence in our community. I wish all graduating students all the best in their future endeavors. I just wanted to offer my congratulations to all of you on your graduation. I particularly wanted to give a shout out to Vendela. You did a great job on your project, helping people stay calm during arguments. Also wonderful work, Sam, on your project that helped us understand students nagging their teachers. And Eileen, it was such a joy having you in class. You were so enthusiastic and had boundless energy. And I loved your daring spirit when you went undercover for your project. And finally, Emily, oh, it was just a pleasure to have you in class. You always gave such useful examples, great insights, and I know all of you will go very far. And I know as well that the future is very bright because all of you are in it and it will also be peaceful too. Congratulations. Hi there, my name is Emily Whitfield. I am an interdisciplinary studies major with a focus in family mediation and conflict resolution. My hometown is Waimea on the Big Island and my fondest memory of the Matsunaga Institute for Peace was definitely their graduation ceremony last year. I was able to volunteer and help set up the event um, and then I was actually fortunate enough to attend the event and check everybody in and watch it all unfold. The speakers were amazing, the families had a great time, and it just made me excited for my graduation. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates and certificate holders in the important programs offered by the Matsunaga Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution. You are problem solvers, peacemakers, and builders of hope. Um, it will be your contributions, I'm certain, at policy making tables and boardrooms and in community forums that affect change and that makes the future full of bright potential. I'm personally grateful for having the opportunity to work with so many capable and intelligent students from the Matsunaga Institute for Peace. And I'd like to call out Taylor Phillips to thank her one more time for the great work she did as an intern at the Hawaii State Judiciary Center for Alternative Dispute Resolution. Taylor, you bring a calm and steady presence with you to the workplace and your contributions to whatever the task is at hand are thoughtful and smart. You're starting on a path to great success, no question. Congratulations, go get them, Taylor. Graduates, you're graduating at a time when all of our lives have been upended by the COVID-19 virus. It's a reminder that in life, adverse challenges can suddenly appear and disrupt all of our plans. At times like these, we need to be creative and use our courage to get through. You've done that by staying focused and meeting your goals to graduate. Congratulations, and thank you for being an inspiration to all of us with your determination to pursue your dreams. Aloha. Congratulations, graduates. I want to wish you all the best as you start a new journey. And I want to leave you with a quote that I like the most. And it's written by a Nigerian writer and author. His name is Ben Okri. And he says the following, the most authentic thing about us as human beings is our capacity to create, to overcome, to endure, to transform, to love, and to be greater than our suffering. As you start this new journey, remember you have overcome, you have endured, 
you have created, you have transformed, you have done wonderful things, you are graduating now. March on, the world is yours. All the best and congratulations. Dear graduates, thank you for the many memories you have spent with us here at the Montanaga Institute. We are very proud of your accomplishments and look forward to staying connected. Instead of saying goodbye, I welcome you as you continue to be part of our larger Matsunaga Institute community. Our community made up of you as Brazilian leaders, negotiators, facilitators, mediators, peacemakers, conflict resolvers, change makers, and peace builders. Thank you for all the bridges you have built while being a student, and I look forward to continuing to follow your achievements within our communities near and far. Congratulations, this is your day. Aloha graduates, my name is Stephanie Song, the Peace Corps representative for UH Manoa, and I just wanted to say congratulations on all of your hard work, not just today as you walk away with a new credential or a new certificate, but for all of your hard work every day bringing more peace to this world, um, to your communities, and to your relationships. We definitely need more people like you all to lead the world in whatever sector you're passionate about, whether that's health, environment, education, etc. Um, and I just can't wait to see how that piece manifests itself in your future projects and your endeavors and your relationships. Congratulations from us here at the Peace Corps. Aloha, this is Joy Lacanienta. I just wanted to greet and congratulate all of our undergraduate and graduate students at the Matsunaga Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution. I wanted to honor all of the ISBA um, Peace and Conflict Resolution students, as well as the undergraduate and graduate certificates in peace studies, and as Especially highlight one of my brilliant students, Lisa Namatame, for getting the Peace Corps Prep Certificate. Your contribution, passion, and knowledge in peace studies is far more important now as we share our experience as a global community. So with that, I'd like to say congratulations. Po my kai, omedito, mabuhay, and aloha. Aloha mai kako Matsunaga Institute graduates of 2020. I first want to commend you for being so resilient during this time and for all the adapting and maintaining of hope and the showing up with intention that you've demonstrated since March. Um, these characteristics will help you be successful no matter where you go from here. Um, there's a quote that has traveled with me um, since undergraduate days and it could not be more relevant now as you explore how to help lead all of us into new, more just and peaceful communities. The quote is by Ralph Waldo Emerson and it says, do not follow where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Be courageous and compassionate in everything that you do and please know that we are always behind you and willing to support you however we can. Journey on. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You've certainly had a challenging semester to finish your studies. Uh, first, I want to say a big shout out to all my undergraduates who took my negotiation course. I want to thank you for being patient while I learned how to teach negotiation over Zoom and for not minding too much when I marshaled in on your Zoom breakout rooms to watch you negotiate. And I wanna do a very big shout out to my graduate students who are completing the graduate certificate in conflict resolution. I really enjoyed reading all your capstone papers and it's amazing the wide variety of topics you pursued from negotiating with the Taliban to negotiating autonomy for Aceh province to 
mortgage foreclosure in the era of COVID-19, we really had some very, very interesting papers, uh, some that we might be able to use someday for advocating for an ombudsman or for changes to our own curriculum. So I really want to thank all of you and pat you on the back for hanging in there despite the challenges of this year. And learning how to do conflict resolution online has never been so important. So congratulations, class of 2020, and stay in touch. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone finishing up the academic part of their peace and conflict resolution work. I'm excited to see over 20 folks in this class. As I always, I always try to join in the celebration of your passage, and not just for the great cookies when we gather in person. And I feel real fortunate to have met uh, half of the graduate certificate awardees. So I wanted to give out a special shout out to Ginger, Dawn, and Diane. Uh, sorry I couldn't meet all the rest of you folks. It's always really revitalizing to see the passion and enthusiasm of Matsunaga alumni. So mahalo for your commitment to this work and aloha and best wishes. Hey, this is Micah Fisher uh, coming from social distancing and then Pasar, Indonesia. Um, I just want to send a word of congratulations to everyone. Uh, it's a really exciting time to pass through this milestone. I was a student of the Matsunaga Institute. I graduated from there. And as you can see, I'm still uh, teaching in the program. Uh, I really, really think the values that come through in the program and that I hope that you guys will all take into the future work and leadership roles that you will take on uh, will continue to uh, create a bigger community that's committed to peace and conflict resolution. Uh, once again, the best to you all, and please keep in touch wherever you may end up. Many thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. I'm Dolores Foley. I don't know all of you, but I have been a professor and advisor for many students enrolled in Matsunaga over the years. I've been involved for over 30 years and have attended many ceremonies for graduates over the years. There's been many wonderful times, and I'm sorry we can't meet this year. There have been many... Uh, there, as you go forward, even in these difficult times, please remember the good times, the things you've learned, your experiences, and the people that have had an impact, and write them down. You'll want to come back to them. I encourage you to dream big and be positive about the future. Take chances. I think good things will come out of this experience. Please stay in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Good luck to each and every one of you. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Your commencement into a brave new COVID-19 world holds many more dangers, many more tragedies, and many more opportunities than we can now imagine. But I believe one thing remains absolutely true. The world that awaits you desperately needs leaders with integrity. Leaders who understand that how we get there is just as important as where we are going. Leaders who understand that our integrity is defined not only by the goals we set, but also by the ways we try to achieve our goals. The training you received gives you a head start on your lifelong journey of living your lives with as much integrity as possible. In the words of Henry David Thoreau, if you have built castles in the air, your work need not be lost. That is where they should be. Now, put the foundations under them. Congratulations to all you graduates and earners of degrees and certificates. Uh, I'm Peter Adler, and it's, uh, I'm sorry I can't be there with you this year. None of us can be together, but I know you will go forward and do really good things. Uh, I was in a discussion uh, with other colleagues in a, a, about a year ago, and the big question was, are we a field? Are we a profession? And the conclusion was, we're neither of those. We're a calling. We are called to this work. And I just want to congratulate you and wish you the best on your odyssey 
and finding great places to do big things. Thank you so much for studying this and going forth and doing it. Aloha Matsunaga graduates, congratulations, you did it. I so wish we could all be together and that we could be there to support um, you as you take your final steps um, so that we could meet your families, give you warm embraces, applaud your achievements and marvel at your wisdom. Uh, but we are thinking of you, we're proud of you um, and uh, know that whatever you choose to do next, uh, whether your involvement is political, social, environmental, or economic, uh, that you will uh, do it with courage uh, as a peace building leader. There's so much to do uh, in a world that is obviously complex, imperiled, and struggling, um, but there is also um, in you uh, all that is good and right uh, with our community. We are excited to hear about the things uh, that you do with your skills, knowledge, wisdom, and we hope that you keep in touch and uh, that you uh, also take good care of yourselves. And remember that we are part of your forever family, uh, sending you much aloha and um, Big hugs from afar.